Hello, YouTube. Welcome to the 248 Podcast, episode 44. Shame is 248, Matt Blue, 1115. In the house, as always. Squad! <laughs> what, rubber band squad. The rubber band squad! <laughs> you know, he actually stopped making videos. How come? Um, He, in his most recent video, he actually explained one of the reasons why it was because, well, first of all, GameStop, as you know, uh, stopped. <laughs> no pun intended on that one. Oh god, I kind of walked myself into that one. They're reopening for delivery only, though. Yeah. So anyway, um, they stopped and dumpster diving. You really can't. It's kind do of a. It's because... kind of a. What's the phrase I'm looking for? That's a. It's a dying field now. I was gonna say it's pretty dead. Yeah. Um, there's not much content to be produced, and I think he got sick of doing it after a while too. Because oh, well, he could start. Uh, it was getting repetitive. He could start diving into the Walmart dumpster. Yes, he can if he wanted to. I definitely could see it. But yeah, I typed in Speedy Diver the other day just to, just for um, nostalgic reasons. I, like <laughs> a little old, while ago, his long, long videos ago, you know. The kid's got 1.33 million subscribers, never showed his face, and uh, has the most recent video of one month ago. I think someone disclosed his name on the, the video I did of him, which was a parody. It might have possibly happened. I forget what his name is. I have to look at my video because I think someone commented it. I oh, could probably find Okay, I'm, a, find I'm a fan of this crispy audio. I love this. Yeah, it sounds really good. It's it sounds better than it ever has. Yeah, I don't know. I may have adjusted some settings that I just didn't know how to do before. But you now I you got inadvertently it. made this better. Definitely. I yeah, mean, I'm is, sure the people at home could hear it better too. This is Joe Rogan level stuff. Is that the video? What's going on, everyone? Oh it's Jesus, that's loud. Welcome to episode nine thousand and twelve hundred billion. Uh, <laughs> just look for the, his name in the comments. You know, the funny thing is, he never got to nine thousand billion. <laughs> He was well on his way. <laughs> he, you know, he actually never got to a uh, thousand either. He was close, but he but never got it's to weird. it. It's weird. Someone commented his name, but now it's gone. Maybe either YouTube took it down to that person to leave the comment. Oh, oh, Mark Platt? Oh, no, that's the guy. Um, Speedy is what you want. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody said that he works at GameStop. And that, that could be true, too. Wow, that's a conspiracy that he works there and he just throws that shit in there. Now, now that's a conspiracy and a half. Wouldn't that be a boggling fuck of minds? A mo- mo- a boggling mind fuck. That, that's more like it. Sure, we'll just go with that. Um, but yeah, no. Like, if he just produces his own videos by literally supplying his own things that he's going to surprisingly discover, put, quote put, unquote. What's the shit that he's quote unquote finds in the dumpster yeah and then, it's kind of like staging a prank video where yeah. you already have the person that you're going to be pranking and you told them what to do and how to react and it's like you already have it scripted it's yeah basically that's scripted. what Mc, that's what McJuggernuggets did with the Psycho series go YouTube that I really feel like um not what was that what was that guy's name who does the gold digger I do not know you know who else uh, staged some videos? Oh, Lance Stewart. Uh, who man? Who man? If you ever watch the Gold Digger pranks, um, there's always like the same sexy looking girl with the same butt. Unless he uh, like these are Instagram models. I see sexy tell. cars. Right, and he pulls up with sexy cars, but that's after the fact that he talks to the girls. So like he he walks up to the to the girl who is just minding her own business, probably putting groceries in her car or. Sees the girl on the side of the road working on their lawn. Uh-huh. Sure, in their naked ass bikinis, whatever. And then he pulls up, but without the car. He just walks up like a stranger and uh, asks them a question like, Hey, do you know where I can get some good food around here? I'm, I'm new to the town, blah, blah, blah. Just trying to make conversation um, and pretend to just be new around the area, even though he knows he's from the area. And then uh, the girl would say, no, I don't really care. I have a boyfriend. I don't want to talk to you, blah, blah, blah. So then he walks away, and then he gets in his fancy sports car like a Lamborghini or Maserati or whatever, and then he starts pulling away. And as he pulls away, the girl's like, ooh, look at that car. And then 
the this famous line that every video has is is that your car? And then the guy's like, "Yeah, why?" He's like, "Oh, you didn't tell me you had a nice car. I mean, you you still want to go on a date or whatever?" Ma'am, you have a boyfriend. Or you have a husband. And then he wow. just starts exposing her slowly. In some videos, he actually has a gold shovel, like a shovel that's painted like gold. A, like a prop? Yeah, like a prop. And he pulls it out of the frunk because <laughs> these sports cars, they don't have front engines. They have back engines. So you have to have a front trunk. Oh, like a Volkswagen. Like a front trunk. So they call it a frunk. So he pops the frunk open. And I don't like pulls- what the frunk is going on here. <laughs> And then he, he pulls out a golden shovel and gives it to the girl. And one of the videos, I swear, this was so staged, she took the shovel and smashed the windshield of his fancy sports car. Oh, that's iconic. Dude, it was so good. And, like, these videos are good. It's just They get a lot of views. And they really do. So I guess this is how you get views on YouTube. You fake videos and you stage them. And you have to have a really sexy Instagram model. That'll help. Yeah, too. it's funny. I've I've thought long and hard about maybe trying to stage like a, a skit or a comedy sketch to get views, because I'm trying to crank out content as much as I can, and it's uh, not climbing as quickly. But of course, we have this podcast, and I have another video com- going up tomorrow. So, <sighs> um, today today's June fourth, uh, Thursday. Yep, June fourth, almost Friday, almost the weekend. Got any plans over the weekend, buddy? Work. You got to work, 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 huh? Then I'm helping my friend move into her new apartment. Yeah, I'll be helping her, too. You will be as well. Yeah, we're going to assist each other. Socially distanced, of course. No, of course not. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, no, we're not doing that. (laughs) No. We break rules, and uh, hopefully there's no harm in that, but, you know. Live life to the fullest. We've and made it this far. Hope we don't kill anybody else. We've made it this far. Yeah. I mean, we're not killers, you know? We're not that, that cop. I'm not going to go there, but that... <sighs> yeah. Black yeah. Black Ops matters. You're right. Did you just say Black Cops? No, bl- Black Ops. Like the, the, the game, the video game, Call oh. of Duty. Oh, Jesus. Black Ops matters. Yeah, boy. Um, so anyway, uh, what was I going to talk about? So yeah, your channel's blowing up pretty nicely and you're getting a a decent amount of subscribers per day. Five new ones. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. Brand new subscribers. We're at 353. Um, I'm shooting for 400 by the end of this year. Feel free to check out my channel as well. He's Um, at, he's at 248 subscribers. 248 subscribers. Shout out to Seamus 248. A moment in history. Also, um, brand new, just came out not too long ago. You're still doing this idea, right? You got the new channel? You want to tell them about that? Oh, yeah. I launched this it. Is the new, this is the release of the new channel, so we're going to link, link it in the description of this well, channel podcast. Well, channel already wants already uploaded a video, but... Correct, but uh, you never so. actually said anything on your channel about it, so... No. Let's, let's I, let I've this tried, be the official release... Yeah, I've tried to keep the two... Strike Point. Strike Zone oh, is the name of it. I've sorry. tried to keep them but, uh, autonomous to each other. Let's see it's all political, it and it's... Put- I, try, I sh- strive for a more... I'll leave in the description. I strive for a more mature... Uh, set up because it's all politics and stuff i figured there was too much clutter on my channel so i decided to take all the political stuff and migrate it over to its own channel and devote my main channel strictly to vlogs podcasts and music i really think you should have just named it strike point dude strike zone the strike zone strike zone is a baseball term look at baseball i know it's i know it's a term but it, it, it sounded catchy and i'll be focusing on topic of strikes which there's a lot of strikes going on in this country so where's it, the where's the channel i can't even see it it's with my f- actual name james garrity that's my first name for y'all that didn't know strikes on with james garrity I can't, I can't find it we're gonna have to link it in the description i'll link it in the description just type in my actual name there you go chief there you go. Oh, okay. Strike zone with James Garrity. That's right. See, you didn't tell me that. <laughs> yes, I did. 
I sent you the goddamn link when I when this thing launched. Thank you for subscribing. Congratulations, and, you hit three, <laughs> three <laughs> subscribers. A moment in history. The official start of the channel. And thank you for hitting the bell too. It will also, it'll start blowing up soon, hopefully. Um, I, I sure know hope everybody so. starts somewhere, and uh, you obviously just launched the channel a week ago or so. May 28th of 2020. So if y'all are listening to ago. this right now, go check that out. He's got one video up six days ago as of this time right now. We're, yep. We're talking. Um, and three subscribers as of right now. So let's get that up to uh, 50 by the end of this month if we can. <laughs> You've got some pretty decent active listeners on your channel. So yeah. um, that's always a good uh, thing for you. Thank you, you 248 Nation. Yeah. Is that what you want to call your peeps? Sure. Why not? Oh yeah, let's do it. I gotta change that. Uh, I gotta change that wallpaper because it mentions politics. This, yeah, I gotta change mine. Are you kidding me? I don't even do Uber karaoke anymore. Mine just looks stupid. Yeah, you, you wanna, don't even you do wanna... Uber period because of the pandemic. I know. Do you want to help me with that? Yeah, we can work on that Sweet. while while this while this podcast is uploading. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. <clears throat> um. So those of you guys who aren't familiar with my channel. Um, I just post a lot of random videos. Most of the time, it's just like a, a vlog here or there, something in my house. How to cook r- Roman noodles. <laughs> Roman. Roman. Roman noodles. Gotta love them Roman noodles. And then what Matt does is he puts a question in the title, but then answers it in the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm busting you. I know. Um, I also just got a brand new electric bike. So if you guys are into stuff like that, technology, um, other things i might even start doing life hacks because those are pretty popular these days um but like like i'm just a bunch of random things you, you click around on my channel you'll probably find a video you want to look at and see if Speaking you're interested in it um i did a couple of reviews about certain items uh how to book a discount with the marriott discount for friends only for friends only suckers so how are, how are people supposed to use that if you like country music also subscribe to me most of listeners of yours, Mr. Seamus248, uh, are not country music fans. I could probably tell that right now. Most of them are, are not. Well, almost every video, I'm wearing a Sun Request shirt or an Ice Nine Kill shirt. So. Yep. Um, what else? Yeah, just a bunch of random vlogs. And then but, you can check out my Uber karaoke co- videos. They're pretty funny. I cover all genres, to be fair, though. They're still gaining some views. Not bad. Yeah, your, your view count is great. Uh, growing its lead over mine. You have about 800 more total views than I do. Yeah. You did catch up, though. I will say that. You did. I'm I was, trying to. I was very, very far ahead of you before. No, you were like 300 views ahead. Now you're like 800 views ahead. My first ever video has 261 views. Jesus Christ. My my first one has like 500, maybe. Go to sort, sort them by the oldest. It'll be like NBA 2K14 or some shit. I know shit. what it is. Uh, just I've ca- seen the video before. Yeah, you watched it. Yeah, you have 505 views. A. I remember you watched all my deodorant reviews, and you're like, "How do these get views?" <laughs> like it was. It was. Well, maybe the people who are listening right now or watch um, came here from those deodorant reviews. Perhaps you got to do more of those, man. I'm. Tr- I'm definitely gonna do more of those. And now I have a, a gaming computer. I might even start uploading some gaming. Speaking content. of gaming. As always, to videos and speaking of hacks, is there any way we could possibly do screen capture for my PS2 if I brought brought it over here? I do have a a gaming game capture card, but I don't yeah. know if it'll work. Yeah. Um, I can always just set up the uh, GoPro and then record <laughs> the TV. That'll work. I mean, it. it I could talk. Ta- it's bootleg, but I guess I could tolerate that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's how I recorded all of my uh, Halo Reach videos. Like all these. Yeah, and look at look at the it's the quality of terrible. And look at the crispy HD in those videos. Well, listen, all right, this was 2011, and I filmed yeah. it on the iPhone fucking 3G or whatever. God damn. Yeah, it's <laughs> and I sound like a girl. No, you sound like your balls haven't dropped yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. Yeah, I didn't start talking and appearing on camera until my balls already dropped. <laughs> click click on my videos and then go to like my oldest ones. Oh my god. I, I didn't hit puberty until I was in high school, guys. I the, swear. the reason I ask about screen capture for the PS2 is because I wanted to show you all the great hacks and glitches found in SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. 
Oh my god. Which is now being remastered for the PS4, Xbox One, and the Switch. Yeah, my most recent video um, got a decent amount of views already. I just posted it like two days ago. Um, but no, I'm going to be doing a, a unboxing slash kind of review uh -huh. for this bike. And uh, hopefully it should get some decent views because I'll actually use the name Electric Bikes, like the company that I got it from, in the title, which will usually get more views if you actually dr name drop the company. Right. Somehow somebody found me from other Electric Bikes, like this guy right here. I well, clicked on his channel. They probably searched electric bikes and found your thing. Yeah, I did have that in my tags. Yeah. Yep. Nice way to skirt the algorithms. Yeah, it really is. It actually does work, man. If you guys, and if you're new to YouTube and you're trying to make some videos, definitely put those tags to help fi people find your videos. I always put recently uploaded in the tags to try and, try and maximize traffic. Definitely, man. That's... Anything to help um, get you more views or more subscribers. Like, there's so many different tutorials out there on YouTube. You can just search and find it. Yeah. And uh, your channel could blow up in a heartbeat if you if you upload the right content and follow the right steps to it. I know. I think there's actually a challenge out there where, where somebody makes a new YouTube channel and sees how many subscribers they can get in one month. And like there was records broken, like you can get thirty thousand subscribers in one month. Jesus it's Christ. insane. And then these people are like nobodies. Like you wouldn't even know who they are. It's not like Casey Nastic just uploads and, a brand new video on a new channel. And how and do gets they thirty thousand subscribers in one day? It's not like Mr. Beast. It's not you know. Mr. Beast, shout out to him. Yeah. Mr. Did Beast you ever see awesome. his video where he like opened a store and sold everything for a dollar? Yeah. Dude, I, that makes me wish I lived in West Virginia or wherever. He's when you, when you have so much money, you can do whatever you want. Oh my god! He bought he bought like ten thousand dollars worth of of goods and he sold it all for a dollar piece. TVs, PS4s, and, and the like. And you know what's crazy? Hmm. Like, and I I get it because from a YouTuber standpoint, like yeah, some ideas don't work, so you don't do it. But for you for you to spend one million five hundred dollars on videos and not even use them because you didn't like them or you didn't think that the content was good is just beyond boggling to me. Like, how do you spend that much money and not even use those videos? He spent a million dollars. Yeah. So he posted a video not too long ago of, uh, like video videos of his that didn't get uploaded because he didn't like them. Hmm. And he told us like how much the budget was and, and why he didn't upload them and like other stuff like that. Like I wish this, I had this one a video here. Yeah, it's right here. It says videos I could not upload. It's a video. Uh, it's a 13 minute video. And why couldn't he? He wasn't satisfied Today, with it. I'm going to be reacting to videos I couldn't upload to this channel. Like one time we rammed a car going 100 miles per hour into a wall. And the reason he didn't upload the video is because the final camera shot of the actual impact was blurry. Oh, boo-hoo. And he spent like $50,000 on that whole setup. That's money down, That's money down the drain. You know how much money he would have made back if he uploaded it? A whole city of inflatables. And like... I would pay it, to watch this. That looks fucking awesome. It seems so cool, right? But... A town full of bouncy houses. Apparently, I would, he didn't think it was good enough to be... T take my shoes. I'm having content. a fun-ass day in that We town. also tried to lay the world's longest domino chain. We visited the seven wonders of the world and much more. Me and the boys are going to react to them and just, you know, tell you what went wrong. Which video do you want to react to first, Chandler? 100 mile an hour car versus wall. That's a good one. There's been a story oh, yeah. in this and, uh, just... Anyway, so you, you get what I'm saying. Like, it's just insane how he doesn't upload these videos and he spends millions of dollars doing it. I wish I had a budget. I wish I had a budget for this shit. I'd be a lot more inclined to crank out that quality content. Well, yeah, you can buy like super expensive things and review them and yeah. more, more and more people would watch you. Or like, well, I guess expensive deodorant is more of, you're already buying it technically if if deodorant is expensive better come with a fucking hand job or some shit <laughs> or at least uh, 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 uh what's those penis things um the 
penis pumps or it just it feels like a blowjob but it's not yo there's an episode of two and a half men or um let me just look up real quick the most expensive deodorant if i could type hold on oh that's i'm actually kind of curious yeah, like yeah, some uh, some unusual brand of most expensive life. deodorant thirty dollars <laughs> damn <gasps> That's actually not bad. I mean, I was why well, was I expecting like a thousand dollars? Well, because you're thinking of cologne. That's why cologne is a lot. Well, deodorant, expensive. I'm sure it could be. You know, I think it's in New York. You can get, obviously not now because the pandemic, but you can get like gold. seven seven great smelling deodorants that really work. Jesus Christ! And the, the top rated one is this one right here. Uh huh. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry, not the top rated. You know, Donna Karen Cashmere Mist deodorant. You know you can get gold, damn, gold coated uh, chicken fingers for like a thousand dollars a piece. I'm surprised uh, Old Spice isn't on here. D De- Degree Women is on there. Interesting. Uh, wait, what'd you say? I said you can get gold coated chicken fingers for a thousand dollar or chicken wings or whatever for a thousand dollars a piece. Most expensive cologne for men. Whoo! One thousand dollars for a thirty milliliter. <laughs> Damn. I'm happy with my Rue Twenty One. They're ten dollars a piece. <laughs> this one's called Straight to Heaven, <laughs> by Killin. That sounds like the name of a strain of marijuana. By Killian. For for men. <laughs> that sounds like a strain of marijuana. It's two hundred and sixty dollars for a fifty milliliter. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I wanna smell it though. This one says Creed. Apollo Creed. From uh well that too, but also from the office, Creed. Speaking of which, Rain Wilson has a podcast too. Oh my god. I listened to a little bit of it today. It's really good. I really recommend listening to it. Um, I mean, I guess if you're not really religious or anything like that, which I'm not really completely religious either. But Ah, that brings me the question I was dying to ask you that I didn't want to disclose until we started recording. Were you raised religious? Raised? Yes. Were you raised in art? Do you consider yourself religious today? I would say I believe in things. Right but more of a questionable belief. Right. Where I still... Like you're agnostic. agnostic. Whatever that means. That that means you either believe God exists or doesn't exist, but you don't have proof that he exists or doesn't exist. That, and I also don't really pay much attention to it. Like, I won't give it the light of day if I don't have to. Like... Atheists who don't believe in God, but I wouldn't say I'm an atheist. Well, yeah, but what I'm saying is, atheists that don't believe in God but don't act like they know He doesn't exist are called agnostic atheists. You know what I just realized? What? I'm gonna start getting um, ads for the most expensive cologne and the most expensive deodorant on Facebook. You've been zucked. And YouTube. Oh my God. Do you know that every fucking time, uh, me and my friend Mike go to Walmart, Target, wherever we all. <laughs> We always find Hootie and the Blowfish CDs. Do you really? Yeah, literally the same one every time. And we just went to the Gallery of Sound in Wilkesboro that just reopened, and they had a Hootie and the Blowfish vinyl. This is an interesting fact. In order to legally give someone a tattoo in South Korea, one must obtain a doctor's license. Well, that's uh, pretty oppressive. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta gotta go all the way to the doctorate degree to get a freaking license to... Tattoo. I wonder what Mike would say about that. Cause like Mike didn't need a license, right? No, he just he took a test online or something. No, his aunt and uncle paid like a thousand something dollars for an apprenticeship. Interesting. <sighs> the Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962 started as a result of information from a Russian spy who was executed by Russia the following year. That sounds like something we would do. I think I remember reading about that in school. <laughs> Although I don't really remember reading anything well, in school. <laughs> me neither. But uh, those textbooks that you had in school are filled with what the government wants you to know. Yep. There's a lot more that goes on in between those chapters that you don't even see because do you know they who, don't give it the light of day. Do you know who Jesse Ventura is? I've heard of the name. Uh, 
Jesse Ventura, uh, governor of Minnesota, WWE wrestler, Navy SEAL. I'm going to pause this real quick. I just got a phone call. All right, sorry for that little intermission. Yeah, it was like two seconds, but it's okay. More like five minutes? Yeah. All right, well, question, question I had for you was, I think you answered, but do you know who Jesse Ventura is? You said the name was familiar. Is he an actor? He's a wrestler, the former governor of Minnesota, a uh, Navy SEAL, and a member of the Mongols Motorcycle Club. Interesting. So the reason I bring him up is because uh, he was on Joe Rogan's podcast a few years ago. Okay. And he said that if George Washington and Thomas Jefferson were alive today, they'd be serving 10 years in, in the federal penitentiary for being major drug dealers. Because the British forced them to grow marijuana. But our social studies textbooks in elementary school never told us that. Interesting. They, they told us that marijuana was bad and it was the devil's lettuce or whatever. But they never told us that our forefathers were forced to grow it. And that that was the economic backbone of our country at its founding. It says Donald Trump is live right now. Oh, he's alive right now. Did someone try to assassinate him? I said live. Oh, oh God. He is live. We're doing such a good job with the COVID, the coronavirus. They, they, they set him in a bunker, okay? I'm not in a bunker. We're in the closet. Mike, you know about that, right? Mike Pence spent a lot of time in the closet. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, I like that. I'm yeah. Yeah. You literally sound like the sound effect on your phone. I was just about to say that. <laughs> I really did sound like the sound effect. Oh my gosh. That's too funny. Um, so I was just telling Seamus real quick about uh, SpaceX or Space Launch or whatever it was called. SpaceX. And You were so surprised that I didn't know what it was, but then you forgot the name of it. You play Minecraft? I just started recently, actually, yeah. Why, did you, do you like the Minecraft? No, I never played it, but it just popped up on your computer out of nowhere. Yeah. Well, I figured since we're doing the podcast, I can just entertain myself for a little bit with playing Minecraft. Not that the it, podcast is boring, but it's just something to do in the background. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, SpaceX. So I didn't research much at all. Is This is just going off of what I heard in the past. Um, it's the first time in... 10 or 9 years that they've launched something into space off of US soil um, and it's also the first time that anything non-government funded uh, went up to space so it was just really fascinating to just read about that not really read it, I actually didn't read it at all Elon Musk is a smart rich man indeed he is and I just trapped myself whoops um, so yeah, SpaceX, uh, that's just something to look into if you guys are interested in like cool stuff like that, science, history, you name it. Um, that is just one of the coolest things that I've heard about in a while. I'm not going to lie. And, uh, I don't know what I just did. Um, so yeah. So what do you got, Shamus? Whatever do you mean? Uh, is that all the questions that you wanted to ask me? Well, that's the most prominent one. Uh, okay, may as well ask, are you a Republican? I don't define myself as anything. So more of a, not, not straight ticket, but what are they, whatever they call it. Um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm not a straight ticket. I will vote for the right party if I see the right candidate well, for the for the job. Well, with this two this two party system, you're shit out of luck, my friend. Well, I don't vote straight ticket though. So like, yeah. if I saw a Republican that I liked, I'd vote for that. Mostly, I am mostly Republican. I won't lie. I'll say that I voted for Trump when he was in uh, was running. And I'll vote for Trump again when it comes to re-election. So that answers your question. I hope it does. Interesting. Did you did you fix the trucks on your uh, 
tech deck? I did. I remember these being real fucking loose. Yeah, they were very loose like that vagina. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Um, Trying to do a backside feeble on your tech deck. I think I still have a couple laying around at home. I gotta find them. I got torches. Rawr. Yeah, so if, not, if you guys are it. listening to this, have you ever played with a tech deck before? Man, they are just so much fun, eh? And, uh, greasy. Oh, we were listening to the Trailer, boy. trailer, trailer Park Boys. Trailer Boys. <laughs> <laughs> trailer Park Boys. They are Trailer Boys. They might as well be Trailer Boys, yeah. But, uh. I'm convinced that that's where they spend the entirety of their time. Now, now, uh, uh, tell me something. I mean, ha when you first watched them, ha you've watched the series before, right? Or, like, some of it? Yep, thanks to you. Something. Okay, so you've watched something. Now, tell me, do you think that everything on that show is actually real? Is it their real lives, the real life characters, or do you think everything is an act, as everything is fake? Well, I thought that podcast staged. was them in character. Yeah, it is them in character, but I don't know if that's just how they actually are in real life, or if... If that's just, I have to. I have to imagine acting. that they they have some affinity for the kind of traits that they exhibit on the show, like, like me method acting. They have to have something because whatever they do is very impressive. If, if, if Ricky can act stupid like he does, and Bubbles Stop could the sound the Mr. Leahy. Bubbles can sound like a fucking <laughs> retard, but still sound really cool. Come oh. on in and get your coronavirus. <laughs> Don't touch my kitties, please. <laughs> Don't touch my kitties, please. They're all my kitties. <laughs> Ricky, I don't think that's well, a good idea. Well, if the fucking coronavirus killed all the d dumb people, we'd be smarter, man. <laughs> <laughs> if the coronavirus killed all the dumb people, I think we'd be a little bit smarter. <laughs> Ricky. <laughs> Come on in and get your coronavirus. <laughs> that's great. And then, and then uh, Julian was like, so you're telling me we got to kill off, uh, um, oh, what the hell is his name? Jesus, look at that. Deuce. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Um, what the fuck is this called? Trevor? Not Trevor. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Ricky's brother, whatever. I don't know. I don't watch the show enough to know, but, um. What I do know... Who is Ricky's brother in Trailer Park Boys? I don't think Ricky has a brother. I don't think he has I a brother. I thought you said it was his brother. No. Trevor is the father. It is said multiple times that Ricky and Julian are like brothers. If you paid attention to the show, you know that in the first season, it is, it is implied that Julian might be Trinity's biological father. This idea is pretty much dropped in later seasons, and Julian is not particularly close to Trinity. Yeah, Trinity and I think Trevor is the guy's name. They had a kid together, and uh, or no, I think Trinity was the kid's name. I don't know. Either way, the show is pretty fucking hilarious. You guys got to check it out if you haven't watched it before. And uh, that's about all I'm going to say about Trailer Park Boys. I just randomly started playing the podcast in the car, and Seamus was listening to it, and he really enjoyed it, so we'll probably listen to more episodes after this. We were oscillating on. between that and uh, Rain Wilson's podcast. Yeah. Definitely good. <laughs> completely, two completely different podcasts, I'll tell you that, right? I also mentioned that we should listen to the dumb podcast. He was like, oh, what's that? And I was like, the 248 podcast. Yeah. What's well, a podcast if you can't shame yourself? Right, shame? That's right. You gotta shame yourself. I hear a spider. Man, go shame yourself. Ooh. You you hear a what? A spider? I heard a spider. Yeah. Ah, spider! And the spider was all, ah, man! Oh, shit, that's a creeper. That's fucking creeper. Ooh, that's a creeper. You're He's getting, coming right at me! Ah! You're getting a little sucked into that kind raft there. There's a spider right there. See him? No. I did that. Freaking creeper's gonna blow up on me. I'm gonna fucking free! Oh my god. Maybe Do, one more hit. Does Wait. he not die? He might be dead after this. No? I have I have armor. Oh crap. 
Don't blow up. <clears throat> New recipes unlocked. Look at this spider. Did you see him? No. Oh. Killed him. Okay. We're okay. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to get distracted. Uh, yeah, we're just not gonna go that way. We're just gonna, we're just gonna take my torch, and we're gonna run. Any, anything else we should say before Whoops. we sign off? You, did you want to play a, ma a game of Mad Libs first? Mm, we could. All right, yeah, let's do it. Pew. Did you want me to look it up, or you got it? I'll do it. So, as most of you guys know, and um, well, at least most of you guys should know. Uh, we always try to end the podcast on a fantastic note by playing a sweet game of Mad Libs. First introduced by... Well, I mean, no, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the idea of Mad Libs, the Try Not to Laugh Challenge, whatever. Shout out the name. First implemented in episode two. <laughs> no, no, shout out the name of the, the people who gave you the idea. Oh, Joe Santagato and Keith? There you go. Shout out to them for the idea of Mad Libs Try Not to Laugh. And uh, they'd have a swig of water in their mouth. And uh, we're not going to do that because I have a lot of expensive equipment around me. But <laughs> we're going to pretend that we did it. I'll just aim at the not so expensive equipment behind you. What, the $500 TV? No, I'm kidding. Yeah, thought so. Bitch. No, kidding. Adjective. Adjective. Um, swipe. Not an adjective. Uh, hard. Another adjective. Brown. Another adjective. N naked. Another adjective. Um, uh, lit. Adjective. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Four more. Purple? Adjective. Um, sweet. Adjective. Crummy. Adjective. Sour. Noun. Um, funfetti. Noun. Rainbow. Noun. <sighs> Sour Patch Kids. <sighs> that would be Sour Patch Kid because it's a singular noun. Okay. Another noun. Um. Firework. Because baby, noun. you're a firework. A noun? Yep. Cinder block. Two more nouns. Dirt. One more. Sex. Occupation. Porn star. Part of the body. Left elbow. <laughs> Poor old because, because fuck the right elbow. <laughs> <laughs> right elbow. Am I a joke to you? <laughs> <laughs> Poor old noun. Huh? Poor old noun. Nah. Plural noun. We're going to go with sandwiches. Uh, another plural noun. Bananas. Uh, type of food. Uh, orange juice. Uh, that, that's not a food. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to say that. Um, fuck, what the hell? Not orange juice. A type of food? Yeah, just Let's go mac and cheese. All right, this one is called f uh, "Too Much Father Goose." Oh, jeez. Three hard mice see how they run. They all ran after the farmer's porn star, who cut off their sandwiches with a carving funfetti. Did you ever see such a sight in your life as three hard mice? There was a crooked man, and he went a brown mile. He found a rainbow against a naked style. 
he bought a lit cat, which caught a purple mouse, and they all lived together in a little crooked sour patch kid. Sweet Jack Horner sat in the corner, eating his mac and cheese pie. (laughs) He stuck in his left elbow and pulled out a firework and said, what a good cinder block I am. (laughs) That's great. Old King Cole was a crummy old soul. A sour old soul was he. He called for his dirt, and he called for his sex, and he called for the for his bananas three. Is that it? Yep. Yeah, that wasn't doing much for me. That's because you got to get dirty. That was a boner killer. Thanks. Thank you for sharing that information with me. You're welcome. Anytime, brother. When I burp, Matt says, God bless you when I say you're welcome. (laughs) (sighs) Just playing Minecraft. Here we go. All right, you want to call it up? Call it a night. Struck iron, baby. Look at that. You see that iron? Uh Uh-huh. You're like, I don't give a two shit about your stupid fucking iron, man. Well, I, n- I never played Minecraft before. It's actually pretty fun. Yeah, it looks I'm fun. Not lie. Yeah, it looks like fun. I know people get creative and have, like mods and stuff. I should really make sure I know where I'm going. It's kind of like the same. Oh, it's nighttime. And it's raining. Oh boy. Oh, there's a spider. <gasps> oh shit. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. How do I get off? Get down. Get down. Get down. We're okay. <gasps> spider. Spider. Quick little bastard. We're good. We're okay. We're okay, Steve. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. We're gonna live. We're not gonna die. I guess I could probably just dig down. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that's going to be everything for today, guys. Really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did. No, we don't need any music. No, I'm just saying finish my sentence. If uh, you did. if Well, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell to get notified when either one of us uploads a new video. And until next time. May I, may I have the honor? No. Oh, really? Wow. No, no, no. I'm saying no because... It's time to go. Like Seamus said, hit the like to be notified with everything you wanted to... Hit the like button with the bell. Words. Hit the like with the bell and the unicorns and the glitter. And then fireworks might come out of your asshole. Remember, something is always better than nothing. Peace out, guys. Later.